thank you. We bless you, dearly, we exalt you, we worship you. Speak to us this morning in ways that we may be able to understand your voice when you have spoken to us. In Jesus' name, Amen. We continue with our study from last week. And our topic today is Who is your friend? This is another angle that the Word of God is teaching us this morning. And our guiding scripture is from the book of Genesis, chapter 16, verse 10 and 10, verse 9 and 10. A very familiar story of Sarah and Hagar. When you live with someone, that person will deeply affect you on levels that you will not be aware of. They can affect how you see yourself, how you see your world, and even how you see your destiny. Look at how Sarai was affected by Hagar, and how Hagar was also affected by Sarah. After not being able to bear children for so long, Sarai finally gave her maid Hagar to her husband Abraham to bear a child on her behalf. Sarai was tainted by the ways of the world in this decision, and Hagar went willingly. Then when Sarai felt despised by Hagar, she threw her out. That's when the angel of the Lord found Hagar along the road in, along the road in the wilderness and said to her, Return to your mistress and submit to her authority. He also told her, I will give you more descendants than you can count. Because Hagar, Hagar lived under the same roof as Sarai, she partook of her destiny as the mother of many nations. That is a positive scenario. The opposite holds true as well. As we now see, these two nations today are continually being involved, continually being involved or embattled for a legacy for Abraham. My brother, my sister, the word of God is telling us today to choose our friends wisely. For when we choose them, they will influence our lives, they will influence our world, and even how we think about ourselves, and they will also influence our destiny. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.